Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. This time, uh, we are going to be trying to see whether we can make our value back from an Animal Coliseum video here in February of 2024. Uh, so I've gone ahead and always, like always, put up the values of the significant cards in the set, uh, sometimes averaging out the values so that I have a smaller list here. Uh, all in all, none of these values are over the amount that the cards are worth. Uh, I do have the promos kind of written out. And I can tell you right away that when, depending on the promo that comes out of this box, we may or may not be, end up making our value back. If we get a rare mod, which is not a significant card, therefore I didn't put it up, we are going to be in an uphill battle. So we got to hope to not get a uh, Skull of Greymon as one of the box toppers. Um, in addition to that, we also are able to get the second box topper being Savedromon, which is also pretty good. If we get a rare mod Savedromon combo, then we're doing really nice. Uh, we are going up against the $70 uh, cost of the box that is current. Uh, most of these cards are about what they should be right now, including Leviathan at a, around $31 or so. So we're going up against $70, opening an Animal Coliseum, trying to see whether we get our value back or not. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, whether we make this value or not, it's, a lot of it is going to depend on this box topper. Now, if you buy a booster box uh case i think you'd be in a good position because if you get like two or three rare mods those cards by themselves pay for like two of the boxes already just on their own right so uh i think it's a really nice time to be buying an animal coliseum case um there's a lot of good value there's a lot of as you can see from the list there's a lot of srs that are worth good money uh animal coliseum is probably one of the best things to be buying right now from Digimon card game. Uh, Exceed Apocalypse is probably is the latest set, but I don't think it has that as good a value as Animal Coliseum does. In fact, I think Blast Ace has a better uh, hit rate. So we're gonna go ahead and open the egg. Uh, the egg is not significant. I just wanna start off there though, because we gotta open it. Maybe it's a sign of good uh, value, I don't know. All right, we got a Tokemon, black Tokemon, box topper, that's okay. I like black cards. I take that as a good sign. All right, let's get on with our significant cards. So here, let's hope that we get anything but a Skull Grey one. And we got Kuagamon. That's actually pretty good. Kuagamon is about $22 or so. It's currently $20. we are going to go with $20 for now because I don't know if it'll go back up. But $20 is a pretty great start off of one of the box toppers. Absolutely good. Now we could just get a Saber Gramon. Then we are going to be off to a great start, right? So again... Uh, Skull Green is really the only box topper you don't want to be getting. All right, we got Destromon as our second box topper. Uh, Destromon is a $3 card. We're actually good. We're up against 47 with just our box toppers, which is really nice to have. Now, we can get three or four hits on Animal Coliseum. And, of course, we can have some nice SRs. I think we're going to end up with a positive here. I don't think there's a, I think there's a very low chance of ending up negative um, from Animal Coliseum. Especially with that uh, already great start of the box toppers. All right, so here we go. Yvonne Wimon and Heavy Leomon. <laughs> Heavy Leomon right off the bat. Heavy Leomon's actually one of the, be the best SR, in my opinion. Heavy Leomon is an $8 SR. We are starting off really nice. Already, we just got to uh, get back to $39, about $40. And that's just an SR. We haven't even opened the hit yet. So hell yeah. Let, let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, so we have Chumon and we have Ko and Sayo. That's not great. That does not have a significant card in it. That's all right. That's all right. We expect that sometime. We have to be okay with that. Moving on. Antilamon, Repa, like Elec, Indra, Fivis. There's nothing like rare or uncommon uh, that helps us here, unlike, for example, EX1, in which uh, you have some rares and uncommons that are uh worth quite a bit so we're not going to spend too much time looking at the comments and uncommons in this set that's not going to really uh factor in here for our purposes today cerberus and galvan x the newly limited card definitely not going to factor in at all all right moving on we have oh firemon and anubis we have an anubis alternate art that is going to be a factor. This is not one of the better alt art slash hit cards. Uh, Anubis Mon is only going to be something like 
four bucks or so. Let me see. We have Anubis. We have Anubis on alternate art. Four bucks up against 35s. I'm really going to bank on the S art being good here. I don't know if my, my luck with the, with the alternate art is not great. But it, the good news about this set is that secrets are still pretty solid value, right? Uh, oh, here we go. Metal X. No, the X as one of the hits. It's only a $2 SR, but that's all right. I pers I specifically need Melga X um, to deck build with. I want to make a Melga Room on deck. So I only got one from my previous few boxes that I opened. So I will happily take the Melga X to deck build with that. All right, here we go. Biting Crush and Suchalmon Ace. That's not going to factor in here. Suchalmon Ace. Regular art. Yeah, all of these aces do not really have value currently. Maybe in the future. Who knows? Not, not right now. All right, moving on. We have Cerberus and we have Mitamamon. Mitamamon is less than a dollar currently. Maybe in the future it will go up. But as of right now, Mitamamon is not that good. Uh, although people are running it in their vaccine uh, yellow decks, it is still not a card that has significant value for us. Uh, trying to make that value back, right? So it's not going to factor in. We have Loader, Leomon, and Gabumon. Um, I will mention that as I have been opening older and older boxes sometimes, uh, some of those rares that are harder to get, they start to get back up in price again eventually. So some of these rares, they might be worth holding on to eventually because they eventually in the future, maybe they'll be required for something. I have no vision for that right now. Um, so we're going to go with zero value for those. All right, we got another Sweet Child. It's not going to factor in again. So we have one hit and one really nice SR. If we can get a we can get a proto X antibody, that would be nice too. Those protos are worth like 10 bucks and would be really nice value as an SR. Next we have Zulong and we have Bancho Leomon. That's our second alternate art card. Bancho Leomon is going to factor. It is absolutely going to factor. Bancho Leomon. Let's see is a seven dollar card currently or approximately seven dollars that takes us to 25 under with uh i believe we should have a couple hits left hopefully if we're lucky right anubis we have a bunch of, if we don't get a secret then we are banking on one card and hope to get some nice sr to help us get back up let's see lekis and aquila okay I'm, I'm saying, I think despite the really nice box poppers, we c I feel like this could end up being um, a negative. It could end up being negative if we don't get a good uh, SR slash secret. All right, Maruki. Oh, no. Oh, this is the SR. Okay, I thought, well, wait, is it the alternate? No, this is the regular. Okay, good, good, good. I was going to say, like, if this is the alternate art, our third alternate art, we're going to end up negative. This is just a regular Maruki SR which is literally just less than a dollar currently. It might even be a dollar. I'm not sure. I'm not going to factor it in, though. I don't think anybody's even buying it, to be honest. Rookie Mutt's not going to factor in here. Um, that continues. I got nervous. I was like, oh, no, we're for sure ending negative. We're for sure ending negative, unless we have incredible luck. Oh, here we go. We have Sayo and Apollo. All right, Apollo regular SR. It's a $4 card. That definitely factors. Oh my goodness, I'm getting nervous now. Apollo is a $4 card. Whew. $20 left, 20 bucks left. We have potentially, definitely one hit, maybe two hits if we're lucky, if we get a secret. A secret would be really nice here. All right. We have Baihu and we have Drago. Nothing there. Drago. Yeah, I was like, oh, my rookie, oh. oh. But it was not the Ricky Alt, which is the literally the weakest of all of the alt arts. One dollar alt art. Aquila and Sayo. And Flo, blue. Now watch me get that. Now watch me. I could I could still get that card. I still get that alt art. I feel like my luck would end up being doing that. By Human and Drago. Nothing. I feel like my luck could still be like, hey. Actually, here's uh, here's that card in Altered. Since you wanted it so much, right? That could happen. All right, here we go. Where Garu and oh yeah, Leviamon. This is actually pretty nice. Leviamon has one of the highest SR values in this box. 
Uh, so I'm very happy with that. Leviamon is absolutely going to help us out here. Um, let's see. Leviamon is a $15 card currently. I actually believe Leviamon is going to keep going up. It's very good. It's a really, really good card. Um, and again, I expect that card to absolutely go up in value. And it helps us here. Definitely helps us. You get a Leviamon in your, in your box. That's really, really nice. We got Ebongamon and Fanglong. All right. All right. I think we're going to be good then. Fanglong is a secret. That means that we are going to be getting four hits out of this box. And it's a significant value. Fanglongmon is $19 currently for the regular art. And that puts us as positive $12. So now we've made our value. We have five packs left. And since this is a secret, that means that we are guaranteed a fourth hit. So yes, absolutely. This box uh, is going to end up nicely positive. Let's just find out how much that is. Right? So this was a $70 box. We are currently at about $82 worth of value. We're going to have Classy Boss, Punch, and Rare Garoom on. We're going to have... Oh, we can get a Leviam on Alt. That would be incredible. I would love that. We got a Ibun Woman and a Zulong. Our factors again, three packs left. <coughs> I get a X on a body, please, please X on a body proto. That would be nice. It's all a little. It's a little. Oh yes, yeah, speak of the devil. Absolute yes. X and a body proto, a nice, nice card. We are going to. Uh, this is one that I really wanted, so I'm very happy right now. X and a body proto form is a. I, I want to say it's thirty dollars, but I'm just taking the more conversant conservative approach this is a 25 dollars card in my opinion and um but it could probably definitely sell for 30 dollars. so I, this is this is a really nice card as a hit absolutely great can we get if we get a regular one we're going to be more than the nice value over i wish i would have gotten a rare mon but that's okay rare mon um would have just pushed this up into the stratosphere value wise right um kuwagamon is all is still really good though i, I i'm really happy with that there. All right, so we got Grapiamon and Azulong, and that's it for our box. So all said and done, combined with the box toppers, which were uh, honestly pretty nice. We got two that factored in, Kuagamon and Zestromon, as well as the X and a Body alternate art. We got Fanglong Secret. We got Leviamon, which is really nice. Apollomon, which is really nice. Dianamon is worth more. So if you happen to get that one, you're doing pretty cool. We got a Marukimon, which is just a, less than a dollar. It's probably the worst, one of the worst SRs, but that's whatever. Sometimes you get those. Uh, alternate Art Vancho Leomon, which is a uh, really nice high demand. People want to play Leomon, and this is an okay one. It's not as good as Heavy Leomon. Uh, we got Mitamon as an SR. Some people play it. This might be good for deck building. Metal X, which I wanted for my own deck building, which is all right. Anubismon, uh, limited, recently limited card. This would be more valuable if the card was not limited or wasn't about to be limited in a few days. Uh, but whatever, I'll take it. And then Heavy Leomon, one of the better SRs. People really want to play Heavy Leomon. Uh, and so it's all combined value. We end up with $37 over, meaning we spent $70 on this box. And we ended up getting about $107 worth of value uh, not factoring in if we were to sell like rares and uncommons, commons type of stuff, right? So Animal Coliseum, really nice set, really good value. Uh, this was, you know, only one sample. So don't take it your word as like, you're always going to get really nice value. I could have easily gotten multiple $4 alternate arts. No secret. Uh, I could have gotten Skull Greymon as the box topper. So there is a range. But even if that happens, some of, I don't think this set loses as much money right like the worst possible box of these still makes quite a good percentage of it of the amount you spend on it so i i would recommend buying animal coliseum especially if it's 70 or less absolutely do it all right thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video make sure to subscribe oh my god you guys are doing such a good job subscribing and watching and thank you peace